Enlighten the people, and tyranny and oppressions of the body and mind will vanish like evil spirits at the dawn of day. When Thomas Jefferson wrote these words in 1816, he believed in the consensus of our founding fathers that education is crucial to the survival of our democracy. And yet, 206 years later, as we face the mounting challenges of the 21st century, we find ourselves ranked 25th in the world for education. 25th. In the wealthiest nation on earth, a beacon of culture, of freedom, of military might, our students rank ninth in reading and a whopping 31st in math. If education is so critical to the development of our children, to the functioning of our citizens and our nation, then what can we do to improve our situation? The study of philosophy is absent from most high school curricula in the US. I can tell you from personal experience, I've never taken a philosophy class. I've never had to read Aristotle or Nietzsche, Hume or Voltaire, especially in the midst of our drive to further science and technology. Many view philosophy as trivial, holding little value in our modern world. But far from being an archaic, antiquated remnant of the past, philosophy forms the bedrock of all our knowledge today, our humanities and our sciences. In the writings of Plato and Aristotle, we find the foundations of physics, of literary criticism, of government, and of ethics. We need to teach philosophy in our public schools. It is essential to a comprehensive education, and it will help us build for the future both informed citizens and disciplined leaders. To start with, is this the truth? While several studies have demonstrated a strong link between philosophy and critical thinking, one study in the UK conducted over the course of a year showed that philosophy classes for primary school students improved their reading and math achievement by a margin of two months relative to their peers. The study of philosophy is the study of arguments, the evaluation of ideas and logic and conflicts and reason. These are essential skills for learning and for life. If our students can learn how to think, how to approach new ideas, they will be better able to succeed in every subject area. Now, is it fair to all concerned? If we take a look at those countries outperforming us in education, we see that philosophy is regularly taught at the high school level in France and in Germany, in Austria, Italy, the United Kingdom, Portugal, Poland, Spain, Switzerland, Japan, South Korea. What we need is to level the playing field, to give our students a chance to catch up by implementing the regular teaching of philosophy, we can provide our students a fair opportunity to compete on a global scale. Third, will it build goodwill and better friendships? I personally will be friends with anyone who wants to talk to me about Descartes or the Epicureans. But in all seriousness, the core texts of our greatest philosophers teach us ethics and morality they teach us to think calmly and rationally, to find logical solutions to our problems. I can't think of anything that could build more goodwill and understanding between people and around the world. And moreover, if we can grasp the philosophies of people on the other side of the globe, then we can better understand their viewpoints, how they approach issues, how they think about the human condition. If we can all better understand each other, then in the face of conflict, we'll turn to words more than to violence. And finally, will it be beneficial to all concerned? We've already seen how philosophy improves academic performance, boosts critical thinking, and exposes us to a wide range of diverse ideas. 
these benefits would directly impact the success of our nation's children. As the founders believed if the people can think for themselves, they will be able to build a more prosperous and free society. The skills we gain from philosophy will help us to function as responsible citizens, to vote, to resist propaganda, to discuss current events, and to lead the nation through the challenges of the 21st century. Do we need science to solve global warming, to end pollution and perfect renewable energy? Of course we do. But first, we need problem solving skills. We need to evaluate moral dilemmas. We need knowledge of the world to build global cooperation. Philosophy is essential. It can transform our public school system, bring fairness to our students and elevate our educational standards. It's more than just knowledge, more than just memorization or information. Philosophy is wisdom. And it is the key to a brighter future. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.